In the air we breathe, we go through these seven values. We go through the values of equality, compassion, consent, enlightenment, science, freedom, and progress. These have now become so assumed in our culture. We think that they are obvious, natural, and universal. They are nothing of the sort. And yet, nowadays, equality, of, of course, if anyone, if anyone thinks of unequal societies, we are instantly thinking that that, that is a perversion. If anyone is cruel, we, we can't stand cruelty or inequality. We can't stand coercion instead of consent. We can't stand being unenlightened. We can't stand anything that is anti-science. We, we hate the idea of things being restrictive rather than free. And we hate the idea of things being regressive rather than progressive. Um, all of our moral imaginations have been shaped by the Jesus revolution. But what does that mean? I think so much of what that means is today we want the kingdom without the king. We want the kingdom of Christ without Christ himself. And what we are left with, therefore, is a whole bunch of values. Values are good. But the problem with values is that they are impersonal, abstract things that stand above us and can only judge us. Are you compassionate? Do you always uphold human equality? Do you always honor consent in every relationship? Are you always on the side of enlightenment? Always on the side of progress? Are you always on the side of freedom and, and science and, and all these things? I have to say, no, I am not. Um, I am guilty. And yet, what do we do in a godless world when we feel guilty? Well, we just sort of shift it around a bit and we point the finger. You know, Dostoevsky said, um, uh, well over a hundred years ago now, he said that without God, everything is permitted. But I think what we're finding these days is that without God, everything is very preachy. And we're all pointing the finger at everyone else's failures in this. We have a kind of a semi-Christianity. And a semi-Christianity is really bad news. Charles Spurgeon, the old 19th century preacher, he said, if you be half a Christian, then you have enough religion to make you miserable. Now, I think that's what we've got. Nowadays, we've got enough religion to make us miserable <laughs> because we know the law. We know something of what we ought to be like, but we have no means of redemption, no means of forgiveness. What do we need? We need the kingdom with the king. We need the Christ who embodies these values because these values are very personal values. It's, it's odd to believe in human rights and human equality and, and for them to remain abstracted, depersonalized values. They're crying out for a person who is their source. Well, Christ is the source of these things. We, we need the person of Jesus. We need to fall in love with the person of Christ rather than adhere to the values of Christ. We also need the forgiveness of Christ for when we fail these values, because we all fail these values. So for those who believe in these kind of kingdom values, what we really need is a king, a king to embody them and a savior to forgive us when we fail.